If you missed it last week, here's what happened. There's someone here to see us. Who? Val. Oh, no, God, I hate her! There was a time when we were all close. There was a time we were all brunette! No, no, get rid of her! I have no money. Nowhere else to go. You're all I have. After 17 years? There's been a lot of deaths in the family. Listen, you, you think he walks back here after all these years and come between us? You got another thing coming. Only a man can do that. Of course you can stay, though. Dad! I'm late. I'm rushing. I didn't sleep a wink all night. Oh, good morning, darling. Good morning. Good morning. Is he still here? I'm both delighted by your assumption and disappointed it isn't true. <laughs> you look worried. Well, I was up all night forcing myself to read some of our possible candidates for next spring's releases. I mean, really. Heidi Fleiss, gardening with a hoe. Listen, listen, Mom, I need to talk to you about something before you go. Oh, can it wait, sweetheart? I'm in a rush, and this is the only outfit I've tried on so far this morning. Uh, no, it's kind of important. Oh, Brendan, those pictures finally surfaced. Darling, I was 18 and double-jointed. <laughs> I thought that they would make fun Christmas cards. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I saw those years ago. Why do you think I have such an aversion to candy canes? Oh. <laughs> I think it's time that you did something risque. Oh, like what? I don't know, experiment. Pierce something, darling. <laughs> everyone, everyone. This is Wolf, my new bodyguard. Oh, Ellie, you got one. Oh, how could I not? It's just the latest in chic accessories. <laughs> Isn't he big? Mom? All right, I guess I can wait. Uh, Wolf, this is Dot. Charmed. You're a very large and big-chested man, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. You mind if I check all points of entry? I'd be disappointed if you didn't. Um, just wait for me by the elevator. I'll wait for you by the elevator. I won't be long. You won't be long? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Darling, oh, isn't he incredible? Incredible, oh. and so what's the word? What's the word? Repetitive. <laughs> What service did you get him through? What's called body gods. And have you accepted God into your life yet? No. No. No, not yet. I'm kind of worried. I mean, it's been four and a half hours. What do you think he's waiting for? Well, since he repeats everything, just say, sleep with me, and he'll repeat, sleep with me, and it's dumb. I tried that. He's also dyslexic. He ended up having sex with himself. <laughs> bothers with people she hates that's why the lady is a tramp she likes a free fresh wind in the hair life without care she's a rogue turtle it's california it's cold and it's down that's why the lady is a why the lady is a why the lady is a tramp <laughs> These. Yes. Thank you. Mom, I still need to talk to you. Brandon, hello. Uh, Ellie? If you're not too busy, Brandon, you and I could play a little game. Oh, gee, Ellie, what could you have in mind? Well, whatever it is, I'll let you beat me. <laughs> Brandon, you wanted to talk? I'm all yours. Good morning. Brendan, honey, here's your hand washables. <laughs> there were some trouble spots, but I got them. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, not necessary. The expression on your face is thanks enough. <laughs> oh, and I packed you some lunch oh. with an extra sandwich for your lab partner, just in case your terrarium biosphere project keeps you and Laura after school again. <laughs> Laura. Oh, she's just my lab partner, Mom. That's not what her face said. <laughs> you met her. Probably did her laundry. And, Brendan, your report card is signed and in your bag. <laughs> it's just so refreshing to open up a man's briefcase and not find clues that expose a lying, cheating, son-of-a-bitch husband. <laughs> oh, but that's all in the past now. Val? Yes? About that report card, did you sign my name or yours? Well, yours, of course. <laughs> I would never be so presumptuous. <laughs> I'd like to sign her death certificate. <laughs> 
too presumptuous. Uh, Mom, I have to get to school, and I guess this is not a good morning for us to talk anyway. Oh, darling, I'm so sorry. Listen, let's have dinner tonight, just the two of us, and then we'll talk. Okay, fine. Uh, don't you think it's strange that... Oh, my God! What? What happened, Ellie? Another flashback? <laughs> It's moved, it's moved, it's always there, always, 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 always. Oh, Ellie, I put it in the music room. You what? Yeah. I didn't think it was a good idea to have him around Brendan. Val, I don't think a cigarette case is going to corrupt him. And if anyone's going to corrupt him, I'm the one who's going to do it. <laughs> My apologies. I was just looking out for him. Did you see that? I saw that. She signed his report card. She moved the cigarettes. She ironed his underwear. She's trying to get in his pants. <laughs> Actually, she's trying to clean them. <laughs> Am I overreacting? Do you want to snap her neck like a dry twig? <laughs> Not yet. What will it take? I've got cash. <laughs> she's got no life. You're rationalizing. I'm sympathizing. Well, I don't trust her. My eyes are wide open. And how many days can you claim that, huh? <laughs> Stefano. Stefano. Stefano, this is my new bodyguard, Wolf. Well, here is my body. Uh, Wolf, I'll be fine for a while. I'll page you when I need you. Fine. Good morning. Oh, excuse oh, me. Oh, Peter, uh, this is Wolf. Nobody told me it was bring your trick to work day. Peter, Wolf is Ellie's new bodyguard. <sighs> well, one day you're giving it away, the next day you're guarding it. <laughs> Car. Okay, ma'am. Just a warning. This is an exposed area. And you're an easy target. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> Peter. Peter, let's talk about our spring list. We're in trouble. Doubleday has Grisham's new book, and look what just came across my desk. Jaime, the ostracized Osmond. <laughs> Doc, come on, look, we're number one in travel and leisure, and romance, thanks to Ellie, has never been more profitable. Although it's true, our most promising non-fiction book right now is Postal Workers, We're Not All Killers, A Portrait of Herb. Like I said, we have a lot of work to do. Round up the editors and meet me in the conference room. Doc, you're right, complacency is set, and we're getting lazy. Everybody's got to know we're here to work. Uh, Peter, your masseuse, she's waiting in your office. Yeah, and she's ten minutes late. See, that's the kind of crap I'm talking about. Okay. Hello? Really? She did? Oh, no. What? Is it about me? Is it about me? It's about me, isn't it? It's the IRS, isn't it? Oh, God. I don't understand. I mean, they call this a free country, and then they hit you with this whole tax thing. Oh, well, I, I thought that we were having dinner tonight. Oh, well, uh, okay. If that's what you want to do, have fun. You... What? What? What was that? That was Brendan. He's canceling our dinner. Val is taking him to see Sunset Boulevard. It's child abuse. <laughs> So she's taking him. Well, I guess I won't be needing these. Doc, those are our tickets to the Chanel Spring Collection. I know. But ripping air wouldn't have been nearly as dramatic. <laughs> All right, Doc. She leaves you no choice. I want you to go straight home tonight and tell that dust-busting woolite junkie to lay off our kid. <laughs> oh, Doc! It's you, Mother. No, dear, it's Madonna. <laughs> Late thirties are hard on Italian women. What are you doing here? It's almost midnight. What's wrong? You look like you just found out I lied about who your real father is. <laughs> Damn. Well, that just slipped out, didn't it? <laughs> Kidding, dear. You know, Mother, it's nice to see that age hasn't slowed down your sarcasm regardless of what it's done to your body. <laughs> If I were a vain woman, I'd resent you for that. Fortunately for me, I'm a spiteful one. So, what's wrong, dear? Well, it's just that Val and Brendan are spending a lot of time together, and I'm feeling kind of uneasy about it. Why? You should be thanking her for taking him off your hands. I paid good money to have someone take you off mine. 
And look how close we are. <laughs> There's hardly room for air. <laughs> now, Dorothy. Dorothy, just because my reproductive organs haven't so much as flinched since the Eisenhower administration <laughs> doesn't mean I don't remember a thing or two about child rearing. Just be patient, dear. You call this advice? Well, it's the best I can do on short notice. <laughs> and now, if you will excuse me, along with age and wisdom, seems to come a bladder which prefers spontaneity over obedience. You understand? <laughs> Mother. Uh-huh. One. Thank you. Two. Hurry. It's the maid's day off. <laughs> I'm a tough act to follow. Good job, darling. <laughs> Where have you two been? Oh, we have had so much fun. Oh, we really did. Sunset Boulevard was great. <gasps> great. And Queen Latifah was incredible as Norma Desmond. Oh. <laughs> oh, it was a perfect evening. And Brendan, you were the perfect escort. Thank you. Oh, and next week we're going to that Rangers game. Oh, wouldn't miss it. Well, I'm just too poop to pop. Oh, Brendan, don't stay up late. It's a school night. Promise. Val. Yeah. Oh, Doc. Thank you so much for lending me your son for the night. Brendan, you don't have to spend time with Val on my account. Even politeness has its limits. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, I enjoy your company. But, darling, I thought we had plans. Oh, well, Val got house seats, and I, I really wanted to go. Oh, well, I'm not busy now. And I know you wanted to talk about something earlier. We could go for a carriage oh, ride. Oh, no, Mom, it's too late. There's nothing like a ride to the park on a crisp New York night, the sound of muggings and indiscriminate sex all around to make you feel really alive. <laughs> no, Mom, Val's right. It's a school night. Besides, you know, she and I had a long talk, and uh, I think I worked everything out. Brendan. Yes, Mom? Nothing. Sleep tight. Good night. Good night. Wolf, either grease up or give me some room. <laughs> it's regulation, ma'am. Four inches between us at all times. Oh, disappointing. <laughs> That's it. I lost my mind, and I'm going to kill you, Ellie Walker. Yes, I'm a bad boy. Yes, I must be punished. Wolf, Wolf, put him down. Wait in the hall. Stefano, he's not interested. I see. Look at me. I'm the boy who cried wolf. Dot, Dot, I'm at my wit's end. Look at him, look at him. What's wrong? I mean, am I, am I unattractive? Your beauty is blinding. <laughs> well, then what is it? Uh, I, I don't know what to tell you. <gasps> Dot, you, you always know what to tell me. What do you mean, are you all right? I lost my son to Val. <gasps> See, I knew it. <laughs> and the worst part is it's not even Val's fault. Brendan just prefers spending time with her. Oh, don't, don't, don't put that down. No, no, no. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, uh, oh, oh I know. Let's see. Shoes, shoes, shoes. Oh, my frison. My frison with new stilettos. Lucite heels, huh? Huh? That's good for a smile, huh? I called. They're out of my sack. Uh, 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 oh, I know, I know. I heard that Tippi Von Schlager's implants shifted during a photo shoot for Town and Country. Really? Did they print the pictures? Uh, well, no. But everybody heard about it, and she's a tremendous pain. Oh. Nice try, Ellie, but not even that good news could change the fact that I am a bad mother. You are the best mother that money can buy. You know what, Elle? It's my fault. I am never around. I am a mother in absentia. Is that where we are? <laughs> That's it. Stefano, bring in my calendar. My son has taken a backseat to my business for far too long. I'm going to cut back on my hours. Oh, great, we can go to Mykonos. You're missing the point. Stefano, <laughs> Stefano, what do I have this afternoon? Four o'clock uh, with publicity. Great, I can miss that. Uh, 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 uh. I can't miss that. What's next? 4.30, John Michael, Michael John John. My hairdresser. Oh, cancel him at the six-week wait. Two, if I call. <laughs> what about tomorrow night? Nothing. I don't care. 
I don't care, cancel tomorrow night. <laughs> I will take him out to dinner. No, no, better yet, I'll cook him a meal. <gasps> God, she's lost it. Yes, yes, I will cook him a meal. <laughs> you know, this room is bigger than I remember. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been in here before. I had Stefano send over these cookbooks. Let's see. 20 Ways to Cook Lamb Chops by Sherry Lewis. Yeah. Yeah. Sonny Von Bulow's Cooking for the Inactive Woman. It's all vegetables. <laughs> what should we cook? His favorite meal. Oh, what would that be? Oh, he loves that chicken dish he always orders at the test. Oh, that's right. What's it called? Uh, the usual. <laughs> we'll improvise. <laughs> all right, let's get started. All right, let's see. Let's try this one. All right. Pour two cups of wine into a saucepan. Oh, that sounds delicious. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, reduce by half. <laughs> Seems like a waste of time to me. <laughs> All, right, okay. <laughs> All right, now, uh, Blanch the asparagus. But you are Blanche, but you are! <laughs> you really? Oh, dear. Oh, okay. okay, this is fun, this is fun. Right. Okay, what next? What next? Uh, uh, um, now, uh, pair the potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> These two look very nice together. <laughs> and now to the beast. Uh, Oh, Brendan is going to be so surprised. Ellie? What? The glove doesn't fit. <laughs> They'll never believe we cooked the chicken. <laughs> All right. Oh, shouldn't we marinate it? Oh, good thinking. All right. I know. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh, absolute chicken! Oh. oh, this isn't so hard. Oh, shouldn't we marinate? Oh, good thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, for this dish, you need a clean floor in your kitchen. <laughs> oh, 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 I think we killed it. Can we save it? Huh. Do you think so, doctor? I don't know, nurse. We'll have to hurry. It's cold blue! Cold blue! Cold blue! I was there for Brendan when he was born. <laughs> I sure as hell wasn't gonna miss that. <laughs> and oh, 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 the pain. I'm sorry, Dot. I knew that epidural was for you, but <laughs> I was cramping. <laughs> I understand. You understand everything. You're such a good mother. I know. It's what I've been saying. So why the hell are we cooking? <laughs> <laughs> What in heaven's name are you doing? Cooking! <laughs> well, you obviously need some help. Oh, that's it. We're out of olive oil. Could you pop over to Italy and pick some up? Since when do you like to cook, Dot? Oh, when I'm feeling productive or inspired, or like when a friend whom I gave refuge to stabs me in the back by stealing my son. You know, comes in waves. I stole your son? <gasps> she admits it. Todd, I would never do that. Oh, please, somebody get me a shovel. Why, Ellie, run out of makeup remover? Aren't you afraid somebody's gonna drop a house on you? All right, you two, that's enough. You want to sleep with my son? You want to mother him? Exactly where do I fit in in all this? Oh, Todd. I really didn't realize I was doing anything wrong. If I've stepped over the line, I apologize. <sighs> I guess I'm just used to taking care of people. Perhaps I have overstayed my welcome. On the planet! <laughs> Now, 
that's it. It's over. I can't even cook a meal. I've lost my son forever. I'm Julia Childless. There you are. Whoa, I've been thinking. You're fired. Fired? That's great. Great? Well, bodyguards don't like to get emotionally involved with their clients. But since you fired me, Miss Walker, I want you. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. You had your chance, Wolf. You chose your rules. I'm sorry. I have to have you. Well, I've made up my mind. Why should I choose to change it now? Oh. <laughs> well, suppose we take multiple orgasm out of the equation. I'm sorry, Wolf. Goodbye. That's what you want. That's what I want. Well, I suppose I could go down with him in the elevator. What happened in here? Ellie and I tried to cook a meal. Why did you do that? I wanted to prove I could be a good mother. Look at me. I think I uh, turned out pretty great, if I do say so myself. But you and Val seem to be getting so close. Well, I was feeling a little ignored, so I guess I played that up a bit. So you manipulated my feelings? Oh, good you do. There's hope for you yet. Oh. What happened to Wolf? He went out to buy me a little red cape, and he wants me to meet him later at his grandmother's house. Well, before I hear any more, uh, I'm out of here. Mm. Good night. I love you, Mom. Oh, why wouldn't you? <laughs> Dot, I was thinking, those were some pretty strong accusations you made. And if you don't want me keeping your son occupied and helping around the house, that's just dandy as candy and fine as wine with me. You know, I've got plenty of other things to do with my life. There is more to Val Brumberg than meets the eye. Oh, yeah, I'm not just some housefrau who lives to pick up other people's messes. You think this is going to come out easy? This is not going to come out easy. This is a pesky stain. You don't have to hit me over the head with a skeleton. Oh, and look at this skeleton. We are talking steel wool here. Location for Larry McMurtry's Streets of Laredo, starring Sonia Braga and Sissy Spacek. McMurtry gave women their due. Come home! You're hurt. How clean your wounds? We're the characters that bring in love and courage and determination. Streets of Laredo, their epic adventure begins Sunday. We're the heart of the film. This is CBS. Can McDonald's Chicken McNuggets make you feel like a kid again? Can they bring you closer together? Can they give you a thrill? Can they be just the break you've been waiting for? Of course they can. Can they make you see double? As a matter of fact, yes. With McDonald's Two for Two. Two tempting six-piece Chicken McNuggets or two McChicken sandwiches for just two dollars. So, can they give two empty, unfulfilled hands something very entertaining to do? Absolutely. Have you had your break today? You should have seen me in this car, honey. I took our new Pontiac Grand Am to the beach today. I was all over town in this baby. The new twin cam engine. <laughs> oh, and then there were these guys that were admiring me. Who are these guys? Very cool interior. They had so much fun. Did I tell you about the way that people were checking me out? You are talking about the car. Ooh, I loved it so much <laughs> that I think I need to go out again. No. Nope. The new Pontiac Grand Am. It makes the ordinary extraordinary. Mothers protect and care for the health and safety of their children in many different ways. And when it comes to relieving fevers, moms listen to their pediatricians who overwhelmingly recommend children's Tylenol. It's the first choice of pediatricians. They know Tylenol has no aspirin or ibuprofen, just the proven medicine that effectively relieves fevers. Children's Tylenol, the first choice of pediatricians. Experimental surgery could save their unborn child, but some say it should never be done. We can help this child. What side will you be on? Chicago Hope, next. 
The joy of owning a home. It's all ours. The house, the yard, the drunk that's going to slip on our icy steps and sue us. If your mother comes by, we'll salt the steps. Then, a magic moment for dad and son. Well, look at that. You are back in the whisker business. Yes! Son, today you are a man. Go get a job. Dave's World, right after Bless This House, Wednesday. Ford introduces the all-new Taurus for those who want to have it all and take it all with them. For those who have an eye for design and a passion for performance. And for those who want the latest in safety, including standard dual airbags and available anti-lock brakes. The all-new Ford Taurus Wagon. For those whose dreams are a little bigger. Rush home from work, your night to cook. Cheese to the rescue. Make a quick Mexican pizza. Tortilla, ground beef, Colby Jack, peppers, salsa, you got the knack. Cheese to the rescue. Yeah, cheese. Mm, leftover turkey. Mmm, Toll House cookies. The Benson's Bake Nestle Toll House cookies. I'll pour the Nestle Toll House morsels. Mm. Rich and creamy. Bake with rich, creamy morsels to get the world's best tasting cookies. This Thanksgiving, make your house a Toll House. This week, The Late Show's in L.A. with Danny DeVito, Bruce Willis, Jerry Seinfeld, Ellen DeGeneres, David Duchovny, and Heather Locklear. The Late Show in L.A. starts tonight. There were three brilliant doctors. Now, one could lose her career, the other her freedom, and she her life. Sidney Sheldon's Nothing Lasts Forever tomorrow.